Today, I will explain you how can you master OSINT. I will be telling you 10 essential steps for open source intelligence. If you are an engineering student or even a cyber security enthusiast and interested in open source intelligence, then this video is for you. OSINT is an invaluable skill that can enhance your ability to gather and analyze information from publicly accessible sources, making it relevant across various professional contexts and of course it helps you in your job profile. In this comprehensive video, I will take you on a step by step journey to help you learn how can you master OSINT. First step is grasping the basics of OSINT. To embark on your OSINT journey, it is essential to understand the fundamental concepts. It involves systematically collecting, analyzing and interpreting the data from publicly available sources such as websites, social media platforms, public records, data repositories and other accessible resources. Before digging deep into practical aspect, familiarize yourself with the type of OSINT information you can collect and the ethical considerations involved in conducting OSINT research. You may read some related and useful articles on website cyberpatshalaindia.com under its blog section. Now second step comes exploring online courses and tutorials. It is one of the most effective ways of acquiring OSINT knowledge. You can enroll in any online course and tutorials specifically designed for this particular OSINT domain. Numerous e-learning platforms such as Coursera, LinkedIn Learning and of course CyberPatsharaIndia.com offers OSINT courses led by experienced cyber security professionals. Assess your current expertise level and choose a course that aligns with your interests and learning goals. These courses cover a wide range of topics including OSINT tools, techniques and data analysis and of course real world case studies. Third important step is hands on practice with OSINT tools. Because it involves using a variety of tools to collect and analyze information therefore familiarize yourself with popular tools such as Multigo, Spiderfoot, Shodan, The Harvester etc. Devote your time in gaining practical experience with these tools because hands-on experience is crucial for mastering the OSINT skills moreover for any skill. So perform hands-on exercises to extract data from publicly available sources and use the tools to visualize and analyze the information. Fourth step is joining OSINT communities. Engaging with such communities is an excellent way to enhance your knowledge and stay updated on the latest trends and developments. Various online forums, social media groups and dedicated OSINT communities exist where practitioners and enthusiasts share insights and experiences. So participate in discussions, seek advice and contribute by sharing valuable findings and knowledge. Fifth point is reading books and blogs on OSINT. Supplement your formal education with independent study. Many reputable authors and experts in the field of OSINT have written multiple books and blogs covering a wide range of topics from best practices and methodologies to advanced techniques and case studies. So continuously consuming literature on OSINT will enrich your understanding and introduce you to innovative approaches in this field. Sixth step is start mini OSINT projects. Leverage your skills for mini projects or say assignments. Because this could involve researching publicly available data related to any company, analyzing a specific topic through social media or exploring vulnerabilities in online information exposure. So by applying OSINT techniques in practical scenarios, you will reinforce your learning and gain valuable experience. Seventh point is emphasizing ethical OSINT practices. Ethical conduct is fundamental in OSINT. Emphasize the importance of respecting privacy and adhering to legal and ethical boundaries while conducting OSINT research. 
avoid engaging in any activity that may harm individuals or organizations or the public at large practice ethical ocent not only will preserve your uh, integrity but will also uphold the credibility of the ocent community next point is stay updated with the industry news because the landscape of ocent is dynamic and continuously evolving to stay ahead of the curve keep yourself updated with the latest industry news and trends regularly follow reputable news sources security blogs and related websites to stay informed about new tools techniques and of course case studies ninth point is networking with professionals meaning osint professionals building connections with professionals in the osint field can provide you valuable insights and potential collaborations so attend osint conferences webinars and workshops to interact with like minded individuals industry experts and thought leaders networking can lead to mentorship opportunities collaborative projects or even your uh, future career prospects and 10th step is creating an osint portfolio as you gain proficiency in your uh, osint profile consider developing a portfolio that showcases your projects research findings and practical applications of osint skills a well curated portfolio serves as a powerful tool when seeking internships jobs or partnerships so highlighting your achievements demonstrates your expertise and dedication to mastering osint in conclusion becoming proficient in open source intelligence requires a combination of theoretical knowledge hands on practice ethical considerations and active engagement with the osint community cultivate a thirst for learning explore diverse osint resources and enjoy the process of developing valuable skills that will undoubtedly benefit your pursuits and even beyond so with dedication and perseverance you will become an adept osint practitioner with a keen eye for unearthing valuable insights from the vast sea of publicly available data so this is all about osint for today these 10 essential steps will definitely help you a lot in your career in your learning do keep visiting cyber patshala india youtube channel for latest updates